Today we'll talk to some amazing kids who can figure that sum out in seconds and the CEO and President of Aloha USA. You're watching Asia Talk. These kids are like four or five months trained kids and they're all five, six years old. So we need to know where they are. Once I recognize where they are, accordingly I'll give the numbers and she will get to know, okay, how it works. And then she could just test them too. Okay? Right, okay. Okay, okay, they're about five months trained. They're all uh, five, six years. That could be a four year old in the class. Is there any? We just turned five. Oh, oh you just turned five? Okay. Now, guys, uh, you call it mental theory, mind theory, mind math, what do you call it? Mental theory. Mental theory, very good. Shall we try some mental theory, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you do that all the time, right? Okay, come on, let's try. Okay, you're ready? Okay, clear? Two plus two plus five minus three plus one. That is? Seven! Wow, now I hear it. Can you tell us what um, Aloha uh, means? What does it do? Um, Aloha is uh, Abaca's learning of mind math. Um, we train the children to do uh, calculation at high speed. As we speak, they can do the calculation. The real benefit is it kind of develops their um, attention span and focus, and it's a whole brain development program. And calculating high speed is one of the benefit that we can see uh, from a child easily. So uh, how, what do you mean by high speed? Like, do, how fast do they go? Uh, right, they do it quite, quite, a, quite a bit, and... Um, uh, they can be the calculator. Here again, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5, answer is... Yes. Perfect. Here again, 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 8 plus 9, answer is... 27. 27. So what you mean by math is um, add, subtract, multiplication, division, all of that? Square they can do all roots, that? square roots, and all, all are focused on arithmetic, of course. Uh, but then it's not specifically a math program. It's more focused on on, uh, on uh, developing their brain and attention span and things like that. Uh, there are there are many different things that can be done to for the brain development, chess and other things. Um, so we use abacus and arithmetic as a tool for their brain development and uh, and develop their focus mm. in children. So they actually just do it in their heads. They don't use pens or pencil. Do they actually use the abacus? And yes. When I say mind math, there are steps, right? So initially, we train them using abacus. So where they taught how to manipulate the beats. Um, as they learn, within a few weeks, we tell them, okay, now visualize and do it in your mind. So that is how they move from one to other. They continue to use abacus, and they also learn in mind math. So whatever they do in abacus today... In a, in a month from now, they do the mind. So it just they progress like that. Just now you mentioned um, brain development. Mm -hmm. And we all know that, you know, math and science is all on the um, left brain. And you, you can say logic. Uh, yes. Left brain, yes. So how does it help develop the whole mm. brain then with this? Yeah, brain? yeah. We need to understand a little bit the fundamentals. What happens is now we train the children, as I said, using the tool called Abacus as they learn the basics of how to manipulate it, a specific way of manipulating, then we say, okay, now visualize and do it. When you say visualize, what happens? They see an image abacus in their mind, and then they work with it. Now, visualization, working with the image, is a right brain activity. So now that is where the right brain development happens. In young children, not many programs that are available for right brain development. Um, there are things that could help them. For example, as I said, chess can be a right brain uh, development. Uh, what happens is if it's played right, in a sense, if you start playing it flat, when I say flat, you look at the move and you make a move and you look at the move, you make the move, that kind of is very logical. Um, of course, there are logic involved. But then if you could see possible next three moves and what is your response to that and then what he could do, now you're seeing layers, which is not. So that is where really you're doing with the right brain thing. So for children, it's very difficult to teach to that level, but abacus is much simpler 
um, form to replace such a intense training and um, it, it gives a very easy way of learning and also right brain development that way. We all know for young kids their attention span is really sh short Absolutely. and for them to do math and numbers that's that's a very hard thing. How do, do the kids enjoy doing it? Kids enjoy doing it you could see uh, in, in the classroom um, how they how they like it because first thing is um, they use a tool to do the calculation so that they don't see that as a, as a, as a number and, and regular math style so it's little it's like a game to them second because there's a teacher and working with them with a group so there are activities that can be done in a group this group is it meets every week periodically so so there are activities that can be done and then when you, whenever a teacher is involved and she works with them, a lot of interactions, and then uh, she could make the class very interesting. So that's 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 how you see them; they enjoy the program. So for a child to go from um you know from the beginning to the end through the whole Aloha program, what changes do you see in that child? Okay, uh, we take the children from five to twelve, right? So particularly uh, moms of five-year-old boys. You say how he's going to sit two hours in a class, right? They hesitate even to put them into the program just because you know they cannot imagine the child sitting two hours, leave alone two hours, ten minutes in a place. But then within three months, they see they can sit two hours and work in a class. And six months, nine months, they see, yeah, my child can sit and work longer. It is homework and other activities. That is one thing. But that is more of a practice that happens in the class. More than that, um, their visualization gets better. Means when that means when you when your visualization is better, understanding a problem gets better because when you, when you read the problem or when you hear a problem, you visualize it. So you know it's it's much easier to understand. Second, their reading gets better. So your visualization and reading goes hand in hand. So when the reading gets better, uh, that means they enjoy reading. And second, they they comprehend better when the when visualization is better. Let's go to the um, company itself, Aloha the company. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit about that? Um, yes, Aloha um, has started about um, 93, 94. started in Malaysia and from there it got spread mostly in Asian countries and um, then about eight years, nine years back it was launched in Australia. Now in Australia, New Zealand is very popular and um, we launched uh, here uh, end of 2005, early 2006 we started. Um, now, um, this is the first location that we started and this is operating as a corporate center now and we recently opened the regional office also in, in Texas. Um, now we have about 50 locations, we have 50 locations at this point and um, uh, we will, uh, January or February we are establishing in Canada. Next year we would reach about 120 or so locations, so that's the, that's, that's how it is set up. So this is very popular then. It's it is getting very popular now. Uh, after the second year of the program, it is getting popular because parents see benefit uh, what the children get. So then uh, it is getting more and more popular that way. Mm -hmm. and the Francis system also developing more because of the way the kids are and the quality of the program. That's how that, that just spreads. Mm. So you are the CEO and president of um, Aloha USA. And so you started the USA branches. So what attracted you to um, bring Aloha into the US? Um, I see the benefit of the program. Uh, when um, in 2000 or so, when I visited uh, uh, Malaysia, I I see I I see um, the the amount of uh, work that teachers do with the children and how much it benefits the children. So that really attracted me. And um, when my children turned six, I wanted this program for them. So that was a initially that was the interest. And then when I talked about it and tried to understand more and more, it was so exciting. I want this to be available for you know, everybody. So that is that is how it started. And then it grew because mostly because of um, the, the interest as well as um, as I see more and more kids getting, it, they surprise me actually when we see they start and I uh, initial stages at 2006 when I, when I teach them, I used to wonder whether they could get it across. But then they surprised me every level so that I get very excited about it. Then we started focusing more and more on developing it.